Ho, 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 all you Christmas people out there. Today is Christmas, or when you see this video, it's Christmas. So ha happy Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Um, today is just going to be a Christmas-esque video. Um, it's not going to be a game because I don't have any Christmas games. I did try to do something Christmas last games last year, but they were kind of cr crappy. So instead of uh, subjecting you to that shit again, um, I just decided to do two things. One, introduce you to a new addition to the family. Um, it's one of two. I only show only one at present because the other one's still like a week younger than this one, so it's not quite ready to be out and about. But this one still is like a little scared to be out here. But this one here is the new baby. Another looking, gray looking one. Um, careful, careful. Um, haven't given it a na name yet, but they keep referring to it as Baby, so that's probably what its name's gonna be, is Baby. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, sure, 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 sure. You're alright, you're alright, settle down, settle down, settle down. Um, I picked him out of the box back when his eyes were still opening, and I still don't know if it's a boy or a girl, so I don't know why I keep saying him. Um, but I pulled the baby out when its eyes were still opening, so I'm hoping that it ingrained a little bit on me, meaning that it kind of sees me as its caretaker and will, like, love me more. Um, Lucky was kind of there, but not quite. Um, she still wanted me to be with her all the time, but she still kind of grew up and was a pain in the ass. Um, but I'm hoping this one here will want to be with me all the time and not you know, want to have me be departed for them for too long. Luckily, they're still being fed by mom and dad, so that's fine for now. I don't have to feed them. But he likes to be near me, he likes to cuddle in my hand and fall asleep. So here's hoping that, you know, you will be a little cuddle bug and just want to be with me all the time, huh? You gonna sit there while I read? Hmm? So I made myself a little fancy um, put makeup on a little bit. And, uh, today's video is, since it's, you know, I just didn't want to have this be the only thing that I do, I also wanted to do a little bit of a reading. No, I'm not reading Charles Dickens, because that would be way too long. Um, but what I did do is I downloaded a, uh, print off. I printed off a uh, physical copy of the night before towards the night before Christmas, which is a very old Christmas poem. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and read that. So I got this off. It's just two pages, so it's not gonna be too terribly long. Um, so I'll go ahead and start reading towards the night before Christmas. I used to have a book that had this poem in it, and it had color illustrations and everything. It was really nice, but I don't think I have it anymore. If I do, it's in the middle bedroom, and I probably could have looked, but honestly, I wanted to try out the new printer that we got, so I just printed off the uh, digital version. So here we go. Uh, the author is Clement Clark Moore, by the way, and there's a little uh, autobiography type thing here. Uh, the bibl bibl a biblical scholar, he was profe a professor of Asian and Greek literature at the Episcopal General Theology Seminary, erected in New York City on land that he had donated. He is remembered for the, a well-known. <coughs> he is remembered for the well-known poem "A Visit from Saint Nicholas," which begins towards the night before Christmas. Um, it was first published anonymously in the Troy Sentinel in 1923. So it's a really old, old poem. Um, okay, so baby here is just gonna sit here and sleep, I guess, while I'm petting its back. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads, 
And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn oh, there arose such, such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. You shush. Just, just shush. You can listen to the poem. It's not going to hurt you. Um, the moon on the breast, the moon, the moon on the breast of uh, the new fallen snow, gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering I should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagle, more rapid than eagles, his coursers they came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet and Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen, on the top of the porch, on to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before a wild hurricane fly, where they meet with an obstacle, mount it to the sky. To the top of the house, the coursers they flew. <laughs> this is confusing to some of me. Uh, the slaves full of toys and St. Nicholas, too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand, as I drew in my hand, I was turning around. Down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur from head to his foot, and clothes were all tarnished and ash with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, with dimples, how merry! His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and his beard and the beard on his chin was white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight, tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face with a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, that a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink in his eye and a twist of his head, he soon soon he gave gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He smoked not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled the stockings, then turned with a jerk. I filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his, to his team gave a whistle, and they all flew away like the down of a thistle. But I heard him ex exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Now, a lot of controversy, I guess you could say, is um, the original writing of this poem, or not, you know, I guess poem, um, was the, the reindeer's name Donder, D-O-N-D-E-R, and it's spelled right there, if you, if you can see. It says Donder on it, but when they did um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, or any other program that included Rudolph and, and the other reindeer, they all call him Donner, which is wrong. So a lot of people were like, oh, it's it's Donder, or no, it's Donner, blah, 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 blah. It's Donder. It, it's originally Donder in the Twas the Night Before Christmas, but then they changed it to Donner for some reason. I don't know why. Um, some people... I guess think it's just easier to say, or people forget anyway, so they just changed it. I don't know. But that's Towards the Night Before Christmas. I really don't have anything else to do for Christmas. Um, we're not really doing any, anything here for Christmas. Um, our last couple, or uh, yeah, like last couple of Christmases have not been that great, so there wasn't really any reason to celebrate. And I don't buy gifts for people, and I don't really get gifts. Um, so... Christmas is more of a holiday that is for littler kids, you know, like people who still believe in Santa Claus. Little kids. <coughs> so, when it comes to the excitement for Christmas, it's usually the children's excitement and the parents' excitement, I guess. But when I was a kid, Christmas was always really, really fun. And, like, my grandfather whom I, I live with, I've told this many times, uh, used to work nights. So when he came home, it was like 7 o'clock in the morning. So he would always wake us up when he got home. And we'd 
<coughs> open our presents and everything, and then usually go back to sleep. Which I don't know we could, why we couldn't just wait until later, but I guess probably because he had to work the next day, so he had to get back to sleep or get to sleep. So b Christmases were always really early, and I always would go down to the thing and sort all the presents out, who's who's and everything, and then open them up. And it was always really fun when I believed that there was a Santa Claus. I remember there was one time that I... Like, the whole premise of, like, go to sleep so Santa will come, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's the whole spiel. It's like, you have to get your kids to bed so you can take the presents that you wrapped previously while they're at school or... Or not at school, but out. out. There's no school on Christmas. Um, unless you bought them like way ahead of time and put them in the closet or something. But whatever time, day, whatever that you were managed to wrap them, you had to get the kids to bed, and then you had to get the presents out under the tree before they snuck around and found out that they were there. So I always remember that like I would leave cookies and milk out for Santa, and I would, you know, always check to see what. Santa brought me the presents never got under the tree until Christmas Eve and of course back when I was little I didn't have presents to give I always just got until I got older and I had an allowance and then I bought some presents one year but the one year that I remember the most was the tree was all lit up the, the lights were still on on the house on instead of off like we usually did during the time before we always left the lights on overnight and we always left the tree on overnight and I remember that we were I was ushered off to bed and it was probably like 9 or 10 or something like that because or maybe even 8 because I was kinda young but whatever time it was it was pretty early for you know stand now like I stay up till four o'clock or three o'clock in the morning sometimes so that's nothing now uh, but I went to bed early like I usually did when I was a kid and then I remember sneaking out of the uh, room and it was probably about midnight or something and the presents weren't there yet and I was thinking like oh well Santa hadn't come yet but it was already midnight so and mom and you know, my grandparents were already asleep. So I was like, did Santa forget? <laughs> did he forget about me? Um, but I guess they they put him out the next morning or something before they woke me up or something. I don't know. But they were there. Like, there were, there were presents there. But when I looked the first time at, like, midnight or something, they weren't there. So they must have stayed up late putting, wrapping them still and then put them out, um later or something but after I found out the Santa Claus wasn't real and the Easter Bunny wasn't real and the Tooth Fairy and all those kind of things weren't real then I kind of realized okay well you know Christmas wasn't really that special anymore it was still cool to get presents and get presents for other people I liked seeing more their reaction to the presents that I got them than you know asking for something in particular um, and I used to get money or I still do but I used to get like a hundred dollars for Christmas because th after a certain point after I got older they didn't know what to buy me like I got to that age where they didn't really know me that well so they were like okay so here just have some money and go buy your own present so that's what I used to do I used to go buy my own presents and then after I turned 18 the hundred dollars turned to fifty dollars and so I get half the presents that I used to get it's okay. Shush, shush, shush. Shush, 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 shush. You're fine. Just go to sleep. You can sleep. You don't make noises. Stop. Stop making any noises. Silly bird. You probably hear him <laughs> sitting there just. I mean, he's asleep. His little eyes are closed and he's sleeping. But he's still making chirpy noises like he doesn't want to be out here. Like, any closer, he's going to be in me. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go ahead and put him away. And I hope you guys, since today is Christmas, I hope you guys have a good Christmas. And you get what you asked for, or at least money, so you can 
buy it yourself or whatever. Or if you don't celebrate Christmas, then have a happy whatever that you celebrate. Or if you don't celebrate anything, have a good day anyway. <laughs> so covering all bases. <clears throat> so have a happy holiday. And I should see you guys before the end of the new year. So hopefully I'll have another video up for that. Um, at least to chime in the new year or whatever. So have a happy holidays. And I'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.